We needed this. We needed this so, so badly. X Factor out of the gates. He's only a 58 at 22 years old. But Juan Stapleton. Welcome to the freaking team. We're going to need him to win Rookie of the Year as well to get that X Factor boost. My goodness. We just got a lot of help at linebacker, and we still technically have the right side to check. We'll sign Dom Weatherspoon for the moment. That is, um, wow. <sighs> Again, that's the first time I've seen a defensive player be that good out of the gates. Normally, it's the offensive side. I've seen a wide receiver and a running back. Never seen that before. I'm going to be greedy and say, give me one more. <laughs> we have to be greedy at this point and say, give us one more. We need it so badly. But given that earlier on, we thought this entire free agent class could be nothing but normal dev players. That is a monstrous turn of events for us. Let's look at the rest of these guys here. There is a linebacker and Xavier Crocker. We can at least try to train up a little bit. And then Alec Tuttle. We love Tuttles around here. Not that one, though. In the secondary, Devon Gallimore. Damn it, normal dev. That is a, that's a Pro Bowl level name right there. Uh, Bobby Hitchcock, also normal dev. I'm going to sign him for the moments as well. Uh, Will Bridges, normal dev for him. Come on, one more superstar at least. Stanley McKee, normal dev. Juan Swan. I'll sign him for the moment, even if he ends up on the practice squad. Juan Swan and Darius Rucker leading my secondary. I'm here for it. Heath Isaac. Normal dev for him, too, as I'm just throwing shit all over the place. James Peters. Star dev. Okay. Okay. Swan. S-U-A-N. <laughs> oh, the memes are flowing. Carl Whitfield. Normal dev for Carl. Carl. Steven Monk. No. Uh, we got Kentrell Oliver. Also not good enough. We're not giving up on this yet. There's no way. Glenn Brewer. Glenn with two ends. Benjamin Carruthers. No. Uh, Landon Haskins. These star dev guys who might be able to move the safety as well. Joey Leverett. Also not good enough. Uh, Juan Durham. One more good corner. Sean Morris. Jason Dunlap. A lot of corners available from this class, too. Cassidy Wofford. Come on, man. One more good player. Sean Thurman? Nope. And we have two more corners to check and then the safeties. Matt Walden. Normal dev for Mr. Walden. Last but not least, Javier Clifford. All right. Well, he's got the half decent corner. At safety. Uh, Otis Drummond was on the team last year. We can get rid of him this time. Landon Harrison. Normal dev for Mr. Harrison. Uh, oh, God. But Nick Allison, there's not much to go off of here for these safeties. Emmanuel Watkins. All right, star dev for Watkins. Bring him in. Reclass on the punters to quarterback. A <laughs> 12 overall superstar dev quarterback. Well, given that Boss is only still in the mid-80s and he started as a superstar in the 50s, can't imagine it would work out too well. Andrew Sherman. Uh, we got LaMichael Callahan. 
I'd love one more half decent option. Johnny Heath. No. It sure is, really. Daquan Justice. Normal dev there, too. And George Morrow. Yeah, Crash, go ahead. Disappoint me. Let's hear it. You could never disappoint me, sir. Uh, I'm going to bring back Benji Woodley, who we had on the roster. Oh, yeah, Crash. I, I saw on Twitter. How, how could I not? So, again, how could it possibly disappoint me when I don't care? <laughs> you know? Let's see, Brandon Dotson. Star dev for Dotson. That means Woodley's going to immediately get cut. Welcome in, Mr. Dotson. Uh, Lamont Gabriel. Normal dev for him. Dion Roundtree. Just beat the man. It's crazy. Any given, any given Monday. As they say in baseball. Roy Logan. Now, if it was Logan Roy, I would have signed him. Rashawn Alexander. Normal dev. The last player, Alton Patton. Okay. Well, we can't say that we didn't get anything. May not be exactly what we need, but still. Kenny Pryor, kicker. I can't imagine bringing in a new kicker or punter anytime soon. We simply don't need anybody. Cody Whitney. Again, superstar is the best it is. There's no uh, outright X factor kicker or punter. So it's just, unless there's someone who's like an 84 overall out of the gates. Shout out to Jim Meltzer. All right. Let's get one more look at this team now, then. Go on the defensive side. So left end, Zach Scott. Still a superstar. Riley and Jet behind him. Um, to be honest, I think they're going to be cut. I think they're both going to be cut in favor of other options. So John Riley. Sorry, my friend. We're not going to be able to keep you. Kareem Jett has a great name. Not going to be able to keep you. Because on the right, we have Carol. Dominic Odin can go. He was a practice squatter last year. He can go. Uh, but we have Manu Kota. Hartwell, Trawick can go. And then technically we have Curtis for that left side. You could really start to actually, I mean, shit, you could make an argument for playing Curtis as the starting right edge at this stage just to try to get him to develop. Scott Carroll is in that mentor role now, though. Funny that I've had players on the team long enough to be mentors. Hopefully we can take advantage of that. If we run Curtis on the right, to then be the starter over Carroll. Let's just move Coda and Hartwell to the left. Not that I think these guys will ever really be anything, but you never know. We did have that safety barber who was not the starter. Um, get a couple of weeks as the starter, got a breakout moment, and he ended up being the guy. So it makes sense to have these type of players on standby. Let's get Chris Hartwell in there. And then defensive tackle, it's Osgood who can hopefully stay healthy. Reed Meekins. We're not going to need McNeil. That's right, we do want McNeil, actually. If we can keep him. Uh, Sean Shepard was normal dev. So he's out. Kenny Tyson. It's also star dev. Try to keep him for the moment. Put him on the practice squad. Najee Winslow. Also try to keep him around just in case. And then Devon Richards, I think, was also star dev. So we do have a lot of options... At safety, which is or at safety, at defensive tackle, which isn't so bad. Linebackers. We got Abdul Girard, Samari Reed, Thomas Cox, and then Caleb Wallace. 
We can drop Wallace. Middle linebacker. Keegan Graham. He's going to be on the outs. Benson's still an X factor, but he's down to a 73. Pritchett Covington and then Juan Stapleton was the X factor. Honestly, with Juan Stapleton, what we should do right now is just immediately give him an ability because we know it's not going to generate. It didn't generate for the wideout. We could wait, but honestly, for now, he's getting run stuffer and we'll re-roll it once he hits a 70 and those other ones become somewhat available. Um, but yeah, he needs to at least get something given that he is an X factor. Take advantage of it. On the right is Short, Mitchell, Dom Weatherspoon is on the outs as a normal dev. And then Roberts and Crocker both have abilities too. So honestly, Reed and Cox I can cut you guys because we have uh, enough linebackers to fill out this team. And the 67 players, so we still got 14 guys to get rid of. Obviously, it'll be 12 here in a minute. Thomas Cox. Get you off of this team. At corner, Allen is an X Factor. Van Dyke is still an X Factor. Jackson. Let's see, there was Gallimore as a normal. I think we have enough star dev options here. So sorry to Devon Gallimore, somebody who could break out, but we're going to prioritize other people. Gallimore is out. Bobby Hitchcock. There's this inconsistent menu lag with this game where sometimes it's laggy as all hell and then other times it's actually not that bad. Uh, Jeremy Ross. You were star dev and will probably make this team. Juan Swan. Again, it is a great name. I am going to get rid of him for the moment because I have to. I don't want to wait until the practice squad's available either. Darius Rucker. You've been a curse, a plague upon this team. We've accomplished nothing. And I also can't drop you to the practice squad anymore. Uh, Ed Davidson, you got to go. You got to go. Peter stays. And then John Johnson. It's also star dev. Hold on to him for the moment. So got a couple of extra corners. At safety is Barbara Jackson and Watkins. Avery, Woodley, and Dotson. Get rid of Benji Woodley. All right. That should bring us down about as low as we want to go for now. Got a couple of people who will go practice squad once the season's ready. All we can do now is training camp. Uh, Marshawn Wallace, by the way, is now a fully specced out offensive coordinator. Which means we can start focus on uh, upping the defense here next, which honestly our defensive coordinator is not bad either. It's just a shame they're not peaking at the same time as the rest of the team did. But them's the breaks. So training camp. Do we even have anybody? It's still worth trying to get Gary Boss to an X Factor here. So let's try it. Again, we're what, 12 years into this franchise. We've only ever had one player get the upgrade through these mini games. So... Still a little bit rough. Give me a triple? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Give me a double? Hit two targets. You only up the multiplier by one. What the hell is that shit? Another double. Not bad. Well. Again, maybe this will uh, maybe this will be the time that we finally get the long-awaited quarterback breakout. Oh, Tangler, what's up? I love me some Queens Rick. All right, is that going to put us over twenty? Not yet. It's going to come down to the last throw. Oh boy. There it is. There it is. All right, come on. Please. Please. 
God in heaven, give me this dev pattern increase. I've waited for so long. And I will continue to wait. Um, for the rushing attack. I mean, no one's... No, man, Stephen Morgan's down to a 77 overall. Our best running back is technically a punter. Or not a punter, a fullback. I might as well be a punter. Jesus. Um, I mean, Avery Dean is... If we can get him to go superstar, we might as well, because he's going to end up being our starter this year. So we're going to run through these. We're going to mercifully hope that my fullback will remember how to block. We're going to mercifully hope that we can get somebody to upgrade. Please, God. And then we'll switch over to our NBA run. As we do. But I don't know what it is, man. My stubbornness right now of not wanting to give up on this team is insane. I'm tempted to see. Like, I'm worried about like moving the team. I'm tempted to see if we could change the look from the Lumberjacks to something else. <laughs> I mean, if the Commanders can stay in the same city and rebrand, why can't the Lumberjacks? Let me become the frickin... I, I don't even know what other custom team names were there. Let me become the frickin British-themed Bulldogs. Actually, that'd be pretty sweet. Shout out to David Boy Smith. Yeah, maybe we should have gone with the Elks. We're too close to those Cardinals colors. It's very on brand. Very, very on brand. But like I said, switching the look of a team once you're already there, I don't know, man. It might break the mode or something. You couldn't put it past Madden to break for a reason like that. Get there, get there, get there. Mills, we haven't played the Utah song yet because we save it for the playoffs and we haven't made the playoffs. So we've been uh, we've been waiting. We haven't gotten there yet. That's the real issue. I can't play the Utah song as we wave the white flag. As we still get no breakout. Uh, wide receiver battle. It does make sense to try and upgrade Crompton. Is it worth trying to get Richard Simpson the upgrade point since he'll be our second best wideout this year? We want him to get the XP or do we focus on the two younger tight ends? Try to get a breakout. Let's go for Cam Crompton first, and then I gotta make a decision from there. Our new superstar tight end. He is the best tight end we have seen generated for us so far. And he's what a 63 overall at 23? Maybe 22. That throw being a bullet pass instead of a lob might cost us. Need to get a couple of 400s. Get those toes in. All right, Boutte. Come on. Learn how to get the toes down. I know the rules aren't the same as they are in college, but learn how to get those feet down. Please and thank you. There you go. Old Dick Simp. I mean, he's, again, now our second best wideout at this stage. Ooh, another double. Crompton, if you'd like to go X-Factor, that would be cool. I would not complain if you were the one to finally get an upgrade. Otherwise, I gotta hope that you're Offensive Rookie of the Year. Which, call it a hunch, doesn't feel likely, but you never know. Alright, should be one more for gold to get us over 10,000. What a grab. Ready? Watch this. Bam! Oh my god. Where the hell did the guy go? He didn't even try. He's like, ah, it's the last one. He's already got gold. I don't even have to try. That was amazing. Give me the upgrade. Yeah! It finally happened. There's no way. For just the second time in like 13 years, we get a dev trade upgrade, and it's the superstar tight end who goes X Factor. Yes! 
Oh my god. It finally happens. I can't believe it. I can't fucking believe it. We find him as a superstar and he's gone X Factor. 23 years old, he's only a 64. He'll have upgrade points waiting. But grab and smash, which isn't bad at all for a tight end. Cameron Crompton. We have an X Factor tight end after all of this time. It finally happened. The 1 in 50. I swear to God, it's got to be like a 1 in 50 chance. Fucking slot machine nonsense. But it's happened. Oh, man. Why couldn't it have been for the quarterback? Because this game hates me and wants to remind me that I had the chance for the quarterback and I blew it. And it's never going to let me forget that. Gary Boss had the chance to go X-Factor, and I fucking blew it. Cromp over Gronk. <laughs> Amazing. The problem is, though, again, like, can we get him to develop fast enough? He's going to be tight end one. I need a playbook. That throws freaking tight ends out there as like top targets. So probably like what? Kansas City? And just be like, all right, you're Travis Kelsey now. I mean, boss does have some mobility, so Baltimore is not bad either. So... All right, well, let's at least get the uh, points here for Simpson. We finally got another dev trade increase. That's insane. We waited for so long. Uh, trench battle will go out there with Brian Osgood. I'd love for him to go X-Factor. Power vert scheme, pretty much, yeah. Our top running back is going to be a power back as well. So yeah, this guy does not do as well as Zach Scott used to do with this challenge. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Whatever, we'll just run past him. So I get that multiplier up there. Club him. Fumble. Nope. Rounds of San Francisco to work too. We definitely got options. Oh, the multiplier. Oh, the multiplier. Get get the fuck out of here. Ow! My shins. Disengage. Fuck my shins. Disengage. Ah! Fumble it. He didn't fumble. That's okay. This might be the dumbest mini game of the bunch, by the way. My shins. Get fucking juked. <laughs> I got fucking murdered. Fucking wipeout machine got him. Oh, man. An X Factor tight end, but he's in the low 60s. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, what else can we get gold on? Chase and tackle. I fucking suck at this game. I'll just be completely honest. And we're not going to have anyone with a high enough overall to pull it off. Uh, the defensive back challenge is going to be bad enough. As it is. I'll try it with the 65 overall. But it's not too likely. See what you can do here, Peters. Well, he made it easy for that one. So if he keeps throwing ones like that, give me the Zach Wilson to Matt Milano treatment. Ooh! All right, Peters. Ugh! Nope. Well, he got bumped that time. That was the multiplier. See if we can at least get a silver again. This guy being a 62 doesn't make this too easy. There's no way we didn't pick that. Get out of here. No, I hit the button too early. I was trying to swat it. Well, Peters. At least we tried, buddy. Yeah, just got out. Out muscled. One more pick. 
Get a silver? Nope. Hit and Y. He didn't even put his hands up. We'll take the bronze. Not going to worry about those defensive back challenges. Not going to worry about the special teams. Uh, we got our boost at tight end. But is it enough? The answer is no. But is it enough to kind of maybe sort of turn things around here is the question. So we'll get the youngest players possible. I'm really wanting to aim for anybody 25 or under. Just so they have more time to take advantage of the points. You could argue 26. I feel like 25 is kind of that sweet spot. To still get the most out of the, the focus training. Um, now at this point it's anybody with a, a standout ability. That's right, we got the middle linebacker Juan Stapleton as well. So two X-Factor additions to this team. I'll have to try that minigame with Juan Stapleton. I'll have to. I don't think he'll have a good enough overall for me to be able to make the most of it. But even if I can get a bronze, it'll technically improve him. So yeah, these guys will be the focus there. So technically, be gentle on Osgood during training. Mm. That's right, I forgot about that linebacker already because of the tight end. I'll try. I'll try. Again, This I feel like this is so luck-based, and I suck at this game anyway. It's a combination of the two. But if we could get him a good amount of XP, it would help. There we go. Didn't count as a hit stick, but... There we go. <laughs> They're not counting as hit sticks. But, uh... <laughs> we just keep tripping them. Yes! <laughs> not a single one of them is counted as a hit stick tackle. Or as a cut stick in this instance. There we go. What the fuck? That's so dumb. Oh, the young X-Factor Stapleton. Look at this guy. The next Matt Short. I don't know if we're going to play him as a middle linebacker or as an outside. It depends on the mentor roles. He finally juked me. Come on, Stapleton. Chase him. Finally juked me. Fuck your knees. We're not going to get a goal because he did get the touchdown. Unless we start getting fumbles. All right, not a bad tackle. Obviously ran at him trying to rip the ball out. It's going to be our new strategy is just run at someone. Rip the ball out like we're Ray Lewis in 05. Okay. <laughs> Didn't work that time. Ray Lewis, we are not. Murder him. Sorry, old habits. Fucking cut stick. How many points? Please tell me it's 15. For, uh... Shit! <laughs> Don't tell me now it's 15 for silver. Oh, no. Run it to the outside. Thank you. Fuck your knees! What? Fucking what? <laughs> oh, my God. It was 20. How the fuck did he stay on his feet? Well, at least we'll get something, a little bit of XP for the new linebacker, but Jesus. The fact that those cut sticks weren't weren't counting as cut sticks killed me. Um Let's go to our depth chart. Set this up for the preseason. So Gary Boss is our number one. It doesn't matter who's second on the chart. Morgan is still technically our best running back, although not for long. The wideouts, it has bets down in four. We're going to have Simp as the second choice because he's the X Factor. So our receiver core is still okay. And then tight end, I do have a decision if I want to continue to train up Hearns or run Glover. And to be honest, it's probably going to be Glover as the second choice with Cam Crompton getting that spot. We got Bost at left tackle, Chamberlain, Morgan at center, Cooks, and Spain. Well, we train up Ty Nixon. We're not going to play him, though. Uh, defensively is Zach Scott. On the right end, 
We have a choice between Carol or Curtis. Carol's the better option. But Curtis is a guy that we might be able to build around with Star Dev. I think we're going to stick with Carol as the starter. And then defensive tackle for the moment. It's whoever. Just the best available options because we got a lot of guys that we're putting down onto the practice squad. On the left is Abdul Gerard. The middle is Stapleton and Benson. With Stapleton being the starter, we're going to switch to a 3-4 for this season. Matt Short, still the outside linebacker. Corners Allen Van Dyken, and it doesn't matter from there. Safety Barber, and it doesn't matter. And then Avery's down to a 73. You could justify playing Dotson, but Avery still has his ability. So what we need to do is switch primarily to a 3-4 defense. Change up the offense, too, to the uh, Kansas City playbook. We'll start off with that. Go with that West Coast power run just to match it. And then we need a base 3-4. Um, I don't want a playbook that has the 4-3. Just the 3-4. I mean, a 4-4 four, four works, but... Give me another one that has a 3-4 without a 4-3. There we go. Ah, it's 4-3. Come on. There we go. Pittsburgh playbook. Perfect. Perfect. Does have the dime package and everything in there, too. The other options, but that should work. So we're going to sim for the preseason. Get this roster down to what it needs to be. Uh, Richard Simpson. Going to get some attributes better. His overall didn't go up, but... He is up now to an 81. Again, was it the right choice to build this guy up from a super low rating? At this point, it's paying off. He's the 34th wide out in the league. He still can't run a deep route worth a shit. <laughs> but he is a slot receiving king. So. The new tight end, Cam Crompton. Can't block worth a damn. That's okay. We're going to build up his hands. Mr. Crompton, let's build up those hands. He's up to a 65. You can hopefully make quick progress. Uh, defensive tackle Najee Winslow. We'll build him up to with Stickham. Yes, with Stickham. What do you mean Stickham's not legal anymore? What are you talking about? All right, how many other guys have two points here? Just Devon Richards. Uh, we do need to go through this. We do need to go through this, so. Feel free to give me something to talk about in the meantime, but I can't believe I'm saying this. There is somewhat renewed hope that we're not entirely screwed, which can't be too surprising given that we just added two X Factor players in the same class. Technically one with one of them upgrading, but I mean, that is an incredible turn of events for us when we looked dead in the water. Avery Dean receiving back, but he is that much closer to being the best running back that we have. He might actually be the starter for the start of the year. Josh Benson's been a very good X-Factor based middle linebacker for us for the past few seasons, but his time's coming, and it's coming fast. 34 years old, 11-year pro. Uh, Scott Carroll as well has never been an 80 but this guy has multiple seasons with like three or more, if not five or more sacks. Yeah, look at this. Even last year, he had four sacks. I mean, he has been a consistent threat since arriving here. I feel like he still deserves to be the guy. Uh, Tremaine Blair is only going to be good as an elusive back, so we can build him up a little bit. Uh, Nolan Jackson at corner. Better at zone. I think the rest of these points I'll do at the end of the preseason. Once we have the roster finalized. Maybe even off stream just for the sake of time so we can still get to basketball tonight with plenty of time to work. But <sighs> the Lumberjacks aren't done, man. They're not done. I can't give up now. The gift horse of two X-Factors. We finally get our second training camp breakout. 
It is showing our defense right now is a 73 overall, but now a 75. So it'd be a little bit different if we kept other players in as starters, but I think, I think, I think there's still some hope and we'll see how fast that changes. It went from negative to positive pretty quickly. We know the inverse can happen too. Yeah, 79 overall team with a 75 defense. We do get a wideout mentorship. Which is Matt Alexander. He is our fifth choice wideout. Give him the XP boost, but it's not the best player that we could have gotten the boost with. We haven't had a training camp standout in forever. And we still won't have one. Go figure. Go figure. Would have been nice for the middle linebacker, you know, for Juan Stapleton to be able to get a boost there, or the tight end. Is what it is. So the defending champion Falcons are our final preseason game. Uh, we will have the six cuts. Oh God, who's hurt? It's only for three weeks, but we do lose our top wide receiver for the first two games of the season. <laughs> Against Cleveland and Atlanta. So 0-2 to start the year is my presumption. That is a pretty harsh injury. We got some guys at defensive tackle that we can drop. Uh, Kevin McNeil. Let's drop you to the practice squad. You're never going to be anything overly good, but that's fine. Same for Devon Richards. You're just outright getting cut. So I got two other guys to get rid of. That'll be Kenny Tyson. Even with that upgrade point, buddy, you're going down. And Najee Winslow. He's just outright getting cuts. You can't go to the practice squad anymore. Lumberjacks and devastating injuries. <laughs> hey, being a lumberjack's a dangerous job. It makes sense. It makes sense. Let's drop two corners off of the team. Actually, one corner off of the team, and it's going to be John Johnson. So he's off to the practice squad. I need to cut one more player. Um, based on the numbers, it makes sense for it to be a linebacker. So Stapleton doesn't go anywhere. Probably Crocker being the lowest of the bunch. Sorry, uh, sorry, Denzel. <laughs> You're out of here. That gets us down to 53. So, yeah, the question now is just what younger players do we run on the team to get that extra time? To maybe win a rookie of the year. We might have a chance on both sides of the ball. To win Rookie of the Year, we're going to set the goal for seven wins, which was our goal last season. Um, let's just go through this really quickly and have it fully prepped. Um, shout out to uh, two quarterbacks in the top ten, neither of whom we'll ever have on this team. Uh, the opening day keys will be the same thing as always, but yeah, 79 rated. Down from the high of a 73. We may have hit a 74 at one point, but I do think we can still be competitive. We are better than what the average shows. The average is being quite, you know, brutally dragged down as well by the lower ratings of our depth. But two new X factors, a tight end and a middle linebacker. Not giving up on him yet. 